Hey everyone, welcome to my Downton recap. Um, you have me for the next two weeks now as Emmy is away. So let's get right on with tonight ep tonight's episode because it was jam-packed and um, so much went on. I don't even know where to begin. Um, so Violet, that's a good place to start. Um, I really liked the little glimpse that we had into her past um, with the Russian prince and when she told Isabel that um, you know, he'd asked her to run away, but her husband had given her a, um, a Fabergé frame with a picture of the children in, and she decided to stay. Um, you know, that was... I don't obviously know anything about the late Lord Grantham, but um, it was quite a calculating move, obviously, and he clearly knew where her affections lay and then used the children um, to pull her back. So, yeah. Um... Isabel, I was really, I was really warmed by her um, and the way she doesn't need a man to define her, you know, she stands on her own two feet, which is quite a thing for somebody in this, in the day and age in which Downton is set. Um, and Rose as well, talking to her dad and saying that she will only marry if she's totally and absolutely in love, and I thought that was really lovely. It's a real sign of how things are starting to change for women in the world, um, so I really enjoyed all of that. Um, Edith, though, poor, poor Edith. Um, she deserves happiness. Someone, somewhere has got to let her smile for once. Um, of course, little Marigold has been taken away from her, in effect. Um, the uh, Mrs Drew, she won't, she won't have any of it. Um, won't let her near, really. And so that's making her thoroughly miserable. And then they heard that um, the night that her bow disappeared, and I can't remember his name for the life of me, um, when he disappeared, he it turns out that he was caught up with some Nazis, um, or early Nazis, and that's um, obviously quite upsetting for her. I just really, really want her to find her own happiness in all of this. Um, and she said, oh, I don't want Mary's pity, but I... I I think um, sisters are funny things and you might not always see eye to eye with your sisters um, but you love them with all your heart and you want what is best for them and I'm sure that that's the case with Mary. Um, so we saw Mary going to London to break things off officially with Tony and she saw Charles Blake and went out for dinner with him. Um, she met him unexpectedly. That was quite a lovely scene between them. Um, and they, they've got to be together. And if she won't have him, I will. Um, and he's he's lovely. I really like him. He seems to like her feistiness and welcome it. Whereas Tony... I'll make the same joke I made on Twitter. Downton seemed to move to Egypt because Tony was in denial. You get that, it's good. Um, so he was having absolutely none of it when she tried to break it off. And I'm a bit worried because, well, basically he just wouldn't hear of it. He said, this is a problem, we have to work through it together. But no, mate, she was dumping you. Um, so, yes, it will be interesting to see where things go from here because obviously she slept with him and that's quite scandalous. And he has the potential to ruin her. Um, somehow, I don't think Charles Blake will allow that to happen, though. Mm. Um, so, then we had Simon Bricker returning to um, see Cora, basically, under the guise of coming to look at a painting, and he decided to stay two nights, much to Robert's um, sheer delight. And he's very smitten with Cora. She's enjoying flirting with him, but I do think her heart lies with Robert, um... I just wish that he would learn to listen to his wife and ask her opinions. And, you know, Violet said to him, why don't you ever ask her opinion? He goes, of course I do, sometimes. And that's what she's missing. And that is what Simon is providing for her right now. So he's got to be really careful there um, that Cora doesn't end up doing something that she would regret and that would cause upset within their marriage. Um, because I think Simon's going to be quite relentless in his pursuit. Um, pursuit? Pursuit. Mm, it's late. Um, 
And so then we had below stairs, we had um, Anna has been spotted by an undercover policeman at Mr. Green's uh, dwellings, late dwellings, and following the same route that he took and hovering around where he died. So that's coming up next week. She's going to get sort of questioned on that a bit. Um, we had a really sweet moment with um, Mrs. Patmore and uh, Robert um, because Carson has filled him in on the uh, war memorial and the fact that they won't put Archie's name on it. And he outright said, I, I agree with you. I don't think, you know, I think that he should be on it. Um, I don't think it's right that they're going to miss him off. And it was quite heartbreaking to hear her talking about her nephew and saying, you know, he volunteered to fight, but he was just so frightened and he couldn't do it. Um, but he didn't sit and wait at home to be conscripted. He had volunteered uh, and now they won't recognise him as a war hero, and it's quite unsettling, really. Um, so, moving to the end of the night, it's no secret that at 4YE we do not like Miss Bunting. I think it's fair to say most people don't like Miss Bunting. In fact, even Tom didn't seem that smitten tonight. Um, he looked positively terrified when Cora and Edith said, oh, you must bring him to dinner. Um, you know, he he knew what the stakes were and Miss Bunting did not disappoint. Um, Robert was back and forth for me in the episode tonight. Sometimes I really liked him, the bits with Mrs Patmore, and um, other times he was being a complete ass um, to his wife in particular. But I liked that he stood his ground of course he completely lost his temper but she had it coming I'm sorry um, she was accusing him of not knowing Daisy's name and he probably didn't but she's just got no dis she's got no regard for the the um, hierarchy within a household like that and I understand that it's outdated and colonial and blah blah blah, blah but but she's in somebody else's house as a guest and you have to show respect to those people regardless of who they are or where they came from. And if she doesn't like it, she didn't need to accept the invitation. Um, she was rude, really, really rude. And then when Robert tried to apologise um, and say, you know, Daisy's lessons obviously are proving effective, she still wouldn't let the ball drop. It was on and on and on like a dog with a bone. And I want her gone. Also, her arms are unusually short. Have a look next time. Um, so, yeah, i really still hoping for um, Tom and Rose to get together. Fingers crossed. Might be a slow burner, but I, I'm hoping we'll get there. Anyway, that's all from me for this week because I've rambled on. But there's so much to talk about. Um, so, join us next week. Bye! <laughs>